Oh, hello, Panda Nation. Hi. So I wanted to give a, um, seems like I might be needing to do this sometimes, and that's cool. Um, I'm guessing that this is kind of like the application side or uh, another version of the uh, video from last night on um, projecting via self-imposed law. And so this builds on, again, uh, Pygmalion. Pygmalion, the villain, Pygmalion. I like saying that. So, um, which is, from what I understand, it's attempting to transform someone else into what you want them to be. And as I was talking about this self-imposed law last night, um, <clears throat> so why would somebody, why would they want to do that? Why do you, whoever, me, why do I want to go and change somebody into what I think they should be? I think it's this, perhaps for this example. It's not an absolute. This is just one facet. And that is um, somebody taught you that. Somebody said, Let's say uh, your name is um, John, Johnny, Juanita. If you're like this and you, you act like this, young man, young lady, and then I'm going to love you. And so what's happening? The, con the form of conditional love is being put upon you to be a certain way, to be this ideal in order to receive love. Or it's being received that way because it wasn't presented to you that they love you anyways. Or you just didn't receive the love. So, all right. Um, so then the reason that I have this desire to want to transport someone else is because somebody, somebody imprinted that on me and showed me that that is how I can love somebody is by changing them because they change. I was changed when I was younger or I thought I was, and that was how we show love. And that is what I think. Okay, so then the next question is why, why do I think that it should be like that? You know, and the, it goes, yeah. So like I said, it is because I was taught that. And then that becomes what? It becomes a self-imposed law. Well, I have this expectation now. If expectation A, B, and C are not met, then you are failing what I have failed myself to do for me because I can never fulfill any self-imposed law for myself. Therefore, the answer is don't be so hard on myself. Love myself. Forgive myself, be merciful to myself, and then I can do so to somebody else. Oh, I'm preaching to myself. It's good. So, um, because if I'm doing it via self-imposed law and I'm saying, you're not being like this, right? If that's where I'm kind of just at in my life and I feel like they need to be a certain way or I, I am projecting this on them for the person to be my ideal, a, a certain ideal, let's say they do. Let's say they start doing it. And God, oh man, you know, these people are, are just emaciated, they're brainwashed, they're just abused, or they're doing it begrudgingly, right? Regardless of them doing it and why they're doing it, the other person, let's say me in this case, I'm getting a payoff. I'm getting a payoff that that, that they're doing what I think they should be doing because I want to transform them to the way I think they should be according to this self-imposed law and this expectation that I've had. And that can be fill in the blank for anything. Okay. And so that is also an expression of conditional love. And conditional love is possibly in some conversation circles, um, I was going to say slavery. 
Mmm. Is that harsh? Hmm. It's obligation, that's for sure. And, um, I think it goes back to understanding. It goes back to um, being on the same page. It goes back to communication, the wonderful vulnerability um, videos <clears throat> as well. So then let's apply this to INFJ. INFJ. It's okay. I used to be INFJ. Oh, that's so funny. So, dude, INFJs are feelers. They are empaths. They feel things by just looking at the green of the leaves. The little baby giggling. The giraffe eating. I don't know. I know you do. Duh. Right? So your empaths, your feelers, very emotional. My thought is this, and this is just theory. Just, uh, um, what do you call this? Subjective information. And that is, which means you can just chew on it and spit it out or chew on it and chew on it some more. Uh, the feeler wants to feel a certain way. And so in order to feel that way, I'm going to project on whosoever so that I can feel a certain way. Right? Um, that's one. The other thing is, is there's a J, right? And the J stands for a, a structured person, a planning person. We're going to be going this routine, and we're going to be doing like this this week. So, you know, ducks in a row, right? Do you see where I'm going with this? A feeler that's a planner, that's like structured. This ties in very nice dove. This, this has a very nice dovetail fit for projecting expectations on somebody. And in doing so, um, so then what does that say? It says that don't do that, right? Um it says more than not just don't do that because just saying don't do that is like don't touch the wet bank. It's more like why are you doing it and why don't you do it to yourself? And if you're not going to do it to yourself, why aren't you why aren't you doing that to yourself, right? What I'm saying is why why I'm asking why aren't you being abusive to yourself? Because you don't want to because you want to love yourself and if you want to love yourself, well then how are you going to do that? And then doing that will be able to love the other person. And I am perfect on this. Dude, all the time I moonwalk on the water like once a week just to practice. I am not perfect whatsoever. That was a little bit of sarcasm. And uh, I am learning just by, like anybody else. And um, I um, I hope that this maybe provides a little bit more clarity. Um, and if it does or doesn't, let me know. Please let me know if it does or doesn't. Please. Appreciate it. Um, cool. All right. That is the Pygmalion. Part two. I love y'all. Bye.